So here, welcome back to my channel. So today, we are going to the movies again. And it is probably gonna be a scary movie. I actually didn't spoil it, so I didn't go in ahead of time. So we're gonna be seeing this movie at the same time. And I'm gonna add sound effects so that it's more fun and realistic. And oh my gosh, look, there are more movies coming out. Oh, by the way, I'm also gonna put the name of this game in the description and I'm also going to put it on the screen right now so that you guys can find it in case you want to see it yourselves okay let's go inside we already have our tickets let the story begin Maggie was so excited about going to her senior dance at the high school she could hardly contain herself pretty her room is nice, she's got her makeup, and her dress is absolutely beautiful. I hope Maggie has a good time. Looks like I'm dressed for the prom too. Let's go. As soon as she was ready, she grabbed her sweater and ran out front. The girls would be by to pick her up soon. Before she knew it, the girls were there. She jumped into the car and off they went. It looks like she's there with four friends. And yeah, they're all girls. Absolutely no guys with them. They should have brought at least one guy because man, he could help them fight off someone if there was someone trying to attack them. It looks like we've arrived at the school already. And it says that everyone was so excited. They rushed into the school and went straight to the gymnasium to see the decorations. Oh, it seems like almost everyone at the dance has a date except for Maggie. And it also looks like her friends ditched her to go with their dates. Oh, okay, I kind of feel bad for Maggie now. She thought she was going with her friends, and they have their people with them. Ooh, the decorations were wonderful, and everyone was having a great time. I don't know about that. Maggie's by herself. I know she's trying to smile through it, but how awkward is it for almost everyone at the dance to have a date except for you? Well, this guy is by himself, and this guy too. She should probably walk up to one of them and say hey, and ask them if they want to dance. She's probably too shy though. Oh my gosh, see? But after a while, Maggie found herself alone. No one asked her to dance or paid any attention to her. She was sad. Yeah, look. They're all ignoring her. Even the friends that she drove here with, her so-called friends, are ignoring her for their dates. Maggie, girl, you need to get some new friends. Maggie decided to leave the dance and walk home alone. Mm-mm, that's not safe at all. She should have taken an Uber or a taxi or something. There are way too many creeps out at night and you just have to really watch out, okay? Not safe at all. I would never do that. Maggie never felt so alone. The walk was long and scary. Yeah, of course it was. It's dangerous. As Maggie began to cross the town bridge, a car came racing past, almost hitting her. Okay, well, at least she jumped to the side. Can we see who was in the car? 
Okay, yeah, no, we can't tell who's in the car yet. That is insane. By the time Maggie crossed the bridge, she was feeling very sick. She sat down on a log for a rest in the middle of the dark forest. Yes, Maggie, that is exactly what you're supposed to do. Not, look at this, so dark. Anybody could pop about it anywhere. I know her friends are being fake, but I would rather stay around fake friends than go into a dark forest by myself. I would just have them drop me off at home and then never talk to them again. <gasps> After a few minutes, another car pulled up and stopped. A man got out and walked over to Maggie to check on her. No, you don't talk to random strangers. Uh-uh. Literally, no. I hope Maggie is smart and just runs away from him. Anything can happen and there's no, no one around here to be like, protect her. She told him she wasn't feeling so well. And he said he would drive her home if she wanted. She accepted and got into the car? Maggie, are you stupid? No. She doesn't even know who this dude is. I know she's sad, but she's putting her safety at risk. She told him about the dance and what had happened. He tried to cheer her up as best as he could. He was a very nice man. You don't know that. He's a random guy that pulled up in his car. A creepy old man that picked up a random girl on the side of the road. And now he knows where she lives. Soon, Maggie was home and the man wished her well and told her to feel better. Maggie thanked him and he drove off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if the bad guy in the story is gonna be the guy or a monster. <gasps> After the man got home, he realized that Maggie had left her sweater in the car. He thought he would drop it off in the morning on his way to work, since it was too late at night now. Okay. All right, maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's not the bad guy, but either way, you do not get into a car with a stranger. Never, 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 never. The next morning, the man went to Maggie's house to drop off the sweater and an old woman answered the door. Hmm. I, it didn't say that Maggie lived with her grandma. Maybe that's like the housemaid or something. I'm not sure. He told her he'd given Maggie a ride the night before and that she had left her sweater in the car. She looked very sad and stared at the sweater. This is Maggie's sweater, all right. She took it to the high school dance with her. Yeah. What's going on? Did Maggie disappear after she got home or something? But whoever you drove home last no <gasps> night wasn't Maggie. Maggie died when she was hit by a speeding car on the town bridge. <gasps> but that was over 50 years ago? What? He wasn't the bad guy. It was Maggie. Nah. Maggie was a ghost. I did not see that one coming. They didn't even hint towards it. The entire time I was suspecting him, but it was Maggie. Oh man. Okay. I enjoyed that movie. The only thing is that I wish we could have found out who the person that hit Maggie was. 
I think that her ghost should like haunt the person who hit her for the rest of their lives. Pretzel at so Pretzel at so Pretzel at so